Hi guys, Jason here from Divine Hammer Computers. Uh, I just thought I'd give you a look at a current computer system I'm working on, a laptop. Um, while I truly I don't build laptops, I do still sell them. Um, and this particular laptop, the lady who wanted it, um, she wanted a computer around 1500 um, was her max. And for some reason there really wasn't the right laptop within that price range. Um, there was real cheap ones, there was real expensive ones. So what we did is we took a pretty much medium range laptop. Uh, we're going to upgrade the memory to 16 gigs and we're going to update the hard drive to an SSD. Um, again that brings up the price a bit but it'll be better than most laptops on the market. So currently it has 8 gigs of RAM I don't know if you can see that on the video or not. Um, if it'll focus. I don't know if it is or not. Yeah, probably not. But anyways, trust me, it has 8 gigs of RAM. Um, it's not a bad computer. It's uh, an A10 4600M APU. Uh, so you see the Windows 7 scores. Uh, processor 6.9, memory 7.2, graphics 6.7, gaming graphics 6.7, and of course the hard drive is always limited to 5.9 because it is not an SSD. So we expect that number to go up quite a bit once it, once we get that hard drive installed. Um, yeah, one of the things I've done also, there's no uh, Norton antivirus on this computer anymore. It only comes with three months trial, so we've wiped that off, um, and I've removed the rest of the bloatware, like links to eBay, and um, there was a bunch more trial programs. Um, the Shishiba programs, I still have to remove a couple of them, but other than that, they're all gone, and, uh, and then we'll install the memory, and uh, we'll see what difference that makes. Okay, so the Toshiba software is removed, and now what we're going to do is we're going to power it down and we're going to install the memory. Um, when you buy a computer at well, one of the big box stores or something like that, you have basically two options. You take it home in the box, which it isn't updated, or you pay them and they will set it up for you. Now, setting, setting up probably takes you around, I'd say, two hours of time and I think some of the places charge about hundred and seventy five dollars um, which if you're buying a three hundred fifty dollar laptop is quite a chunk um, or you buy the laptop through me and I'll do it for free not only that but I will remove the trial um, trial antivirus and I will install one that won't keep bugging you for updates um, yeah, and I can also do upgrades like this if it's something you're interested in. So this is um, some Kingston RAM, 16 gigs, uh, DDR3, 1600 megahertz. So we have that. So first thing we have to do is, well, what you should do on any computer is get rid of the power. So we're going to unlock it. We're going to take the battery off, which is interesting. So I'll take that out. It probably won't come out all the way. They're normally locked into the door so that you can't take them out. This is going to be interesting. Because it's only one screw, it's going to have snaps to keep it in place. This is really not my favorite thing. It doesn't fit out. There it goes. Okay. So we'll take the old memory out, which is Samsung RAM, interesting, okay. Just there, one stick out. Just two little tabs, the memory will pop out like that. All we have to do is put the replacement sticks in, and we should be good to go. 
it's always a good idea to replace memory um, at the same time, all at once. You can do upgrades, but you always run into you can run into compatibility issues. Um, whereas if you're replacing two of the same sticks, uh, especially out of a kit, they uh, they've been tested together and they shouldn't shouldn't give you any problems. So there we go. The memory is installed. Just as simple as that. Um, I think they charge uh, thirty bucks at some of the big stores just to do that. Like I said. It, I don't charge anything for that. Uh, that's a fairly simple job. If you buy the memory off me, I'll have no problem installing it. Actually, I prefer installing it myself. Um, yeah. Okay, and then you put the battery back in. The battery should be fairly simple to slide in. And you make sure this is over to lock it. Turn the laptop back over. Hit the power button. Let's we'll see what happens. So that was the total uh, memory upgrade process, and uh, tomorrow when I get a chance, I will uh, show you the hard drive, the SSD, and um, the computer will end up booting a lot faster, and this computer is well on its way to being a lot more, a lot more powerful than what it was stock, and should run a lot better. So we'll just confirm that this has 16 gigs now. We'll check the... Uh... That's the other thing, too. When I build a computer or when I uh, work on a laptop or anybody's computer, really, I will uh, install good free programs that prevent spyware, um, free antivirus, um, programs that'll help you for... Yeah, 16 gigs of RAM and it needs to refresh. Okay, so now it's the next day and the hard drive has arrived. It's a Samsung solid state drive. 830 series, 256 gig hard drive, and it runs, uh, let's say, to 6 gigabytes. And the box is empty. Yeah. Oh, it's a tight fit. So, Samsung, beautiful logo. Very thin drive, too. It's a 7 millimeter instead of a 9 millimeter, so some. Some ultra books and stuff that won't fit a regular size drive. Well, it'll fit one of these. I'll take this drive, line it up, make sure it's in the right way. Yep. Ooh, is that a tight fit? Bizarre. There we go. Okay. So now we have that in there. I'm not going to bother putting the screw back in because we are going to have to take this back apart again in order to put the other drive in. Okay, so there we have our drive now in an external enclosure. It does take me some time to do things. I think a lot of people think that I can do things in a couple of minutes and maybe sometimes it seems like that, but to be truthful, a lot of computer work takes forever. And a lot of times you're relying on the computer to be faster and do things and sometimes it just doesn't. So there we go, the computer is booting now. Still on its original hard drive. Okay, I had to give up on Norton Ghost and that other free trial. Um, I'm gonna have to use the software that I have. For some reason, I can't find the key code. To me, it's completely stupid, but I can't enter it properly. I don't know if it's an error with the software or if I've got the wrong numbers. I tried several numbers all over the boxes and frustrating. But, anyways, I don't know how much I'll edit this out. Probably might not even see it. I might not even, you might not hear me talking right now. Um, yeah, so I'm just rebooting the computer, then I'm going to install the software, and um, we're hopefully going to get to cloning this drive finally. I don't know what we're into it, like over an hour. Um, stupid waste of time playing around with Norton Ghost and trying to get that to work and then trying the online software and finding out for free you can't clone it. So I'll go with my paid version and I'll go from there. 
and we'll uh, make that work. Okay, let's get to installing the software now. Okay, so we're installing this program here. Um, I'm not going to bother about the newest version. Uh, just the straight, this version is fine. I'm not going to waste any more time. Next. I agree. No, I don't want to participate. Okay. Now we're going to do, let's do a complete install. And yes, next. Proceed. And now we wait. We probably should update this. I like this software. It's really uh, simple and it works. At least that's my experience with it. The Cronus True Image. Um, normally I get it free when I uh, do, uh, I believe, Seagate. See if I use a Seagate drive, they allow you to use their cloning software, which is actually a Cronus, uh, to clone drives. And I would have been able to use Norton Ghost with the Samsung SSD had it worked, but for some reason, I'm not the smartest when it comes to entering a serial number because I didn't have any that looked like serial numbers. I had like several product codes and who knows, product numbers. Nothing clearly marked Norton Go serial number or key. I can't say I'm thrilled with Samsung's execution of that, but If the drive is as good as I've heard it is, and it's completely made by Samsung, every part of it, I guess there has to be one negative on the bunch, and that's the software, unfortunately. Oh well, it's something I can live with. It's not a huge deal. Could be frustrating, though, if you don't have another option or don't know what software to use other than what they provide you. And um, I really wish companies would... I don't know focus group the wrong word get people to try their software try their products and uh, yeah that's not the best experience at least that I would have liked that should have been a real simple process should have been marked Norton Ghost key entered here instead you go online you look for it it tells you that it's on the back of your CD case well I looked there's a number and letters there I entered them in, it tells me that it can't install the wrong key. So, either that was the key and it's not working somehow, or that wasn't the key and my key's missing. Either or, it kind of sucks. Oh, she's taking forever. This laptop, which is bizarre, but. Other tools and utilities. I lost it on this. Clone disk. There we go. Gotta start tool because tool is running. Where? Oh, come on, seriously? There it is. Wow, that was impressive. Source is that one. I 
Destination is that one. Okay, so we reboot. Hopefully I've done this right. <laughs> it would be rather amusing if I didn't. I guess we'll find out soon. So we'll shut down. And it'll go to, should boot into the software and it should start cloning the disk. At least that's the, what it's happened before. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> there we go. See if it gets through without any errors. So this gets successfully completed. Okay, our drive is installed and it's uh, in place. Just going to place the cover back on it. back in. Replace the battery. Turn the laptop over. And turn the computer back on. I'll refresh our score. Oh, 7.9. So the current slowest point is the video card now. <clears throat> well, that's been the upgrade of this laptop.